we talked about not promoting guns. We talked about not promoting drugs. We talked about uh, not turning people. Why would you not promote drugs and guns? I Guys, I have to say, like, these are two of the best things humans have ever created. Guys, I run a very, very, very serious channel. I don't do sarcasm. I don't do jokes. I don't do comedy. I don't do any of it. I run a very serious channel, and today I... I'm going to be reacting to a very serious looking Ben Shapiro. Um, frankly, I always suspected that Ben Shapiro with his yarmulke and his, um, you know, the whole I, I practice, I'm, I, I am a practicing Jew. I believe for a very long time that this was a facade and that the real Ben Shapiro would show himself at some point and he's got gold chains. He's got sunglasses. I don't see a yarmulke. I don't see a yarmulke right now. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm here to react in a very serious way and seriously address everything that goes on in this interview. So let's see what happens seriously. Yo, yo, yo! It's my homie, Tom McDonald. Tom, it's been a hell of a weekend. So, G. <coughs> Tell me about uh, how Facts is doing. He's number one on the iTunes charts in the United States. Yeah. He's turning all the way up to number two worldwide, but we're facing some entrenched opposition from members yes. of the industry who don't like the insurgent campaign that we have been waging against them. They just, they yes. don't. These, these people are militants uh, and criminals, and they should be locked up for what they did making that video. That video that I actually reacted to that you could go watch on my channel, um, which, you know, they should be locked up for it. They should be in prison. They broke a lot of statutes, laws, and stuff, guys. Lawyering. Ben knows about that. No, the true artistry of hip-hop, I think, from people like, I mean, you actually know what you're doing, but like, from me, I don't think anyone expected me to just, you know, be as amazing as I am at this, clearly. And, and I've got the oh. bling to, like, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've been hitting all the clubs, leading a new lifestyle. We still have to overcome some... Ben's gonna Ben. I saw him last um last night at the club popping a bottle, and he was he was giving this girl a hug, and he said, "Well, you can end up getting rubbed." And he was rubbing this girl's ass like it was crazy. It was crazy, and he was he was listening to some Fifty Cent man. It was wild to see Ben Shapiro like that. It was really cool. I'm I'm glad he's finally showing his colors. My obstacles, Tom. Absolutely. Well, it's nice to see you uh, entrenched in the culture. The, the 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 craziest part about this is I almost showed up dressed as you today. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it's been, you know, for your first step out the door, Ben, uh, you absolutely killed it. Uh, we're, we're number one in all genres on iTunes, number two uh, worldwide on iTunes, which is... This is the first Tom McDonald interview I have ever seen. And his I don't recognize his voice because I've only heard his songs. His voice sounds like a quiet Canadian voice so far. Very different than the aggressive. Um, like in his songs, he's, you know, he'll be like, I'm about this. I'm about that. He never is like, I'm a boot this. I'm a boot that, you know, but it seems like that's how he talks. So I'm, I'm confused. It, it's weird. But. It, we are going to seriously, very, very seriously analyze this interview. Uh, unheard of, especially for somebody making their first rap song. Um, you know, Nicki Minaj dropped her diss song today against Megan Thee Stallion. So we're up against some stiff competition. But uh, thus far, we've held down that top spot. I, I don't think she's going to be able to shake us, man. I don't Nicki Minaj, is, I didn't know that. And... Um, I don't care. Yeah, I don't. I, I thought about it for a long time, and I, I don't think I care. Uh, moving on. I don't think so either, especially because, I mean, uh, I saw that 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 Megan the Stallion, the uh, that, that she actually um, she lowered her price, that she's almost giving it away. I mean, I mean her song in any case. But um, let's talk about, you know, all of the all of the various algorithms. That oh, oh, that was a Ben Shapiro joke. He That's cute. Ben Shapiro cracked a little joke. Did you guys catch that? You catch that? Yeah, I I think I'm yeah. Being used to suppress the song because they really do not want us to hit number one on the billboard charts, obviously. No. Yeah. 
No, they don't. Well, it started. They're I against. Mean, it started. They're against us. They're all against us. They're trying to keep us down. They don't want us to get it. They don't. Before the song got even released, um, <clears throat> obviously, I distribute all my music independently through TuneCore, uh, and TuneCore actually denied the release of the song um, before the video release. Before anybody even knew you were on the song, uh, I had tried to submit and release the song through TuneCore. Uh, and they turned it down, which is super frustrating. It's an amazing job. I mean, she, she directed this beautifully and the editing is, is incredible. I mean, again, it makes it look like I can rap, which is an amazing thing. Have you ever heard of data brokers? Those are the middlemen collecting and selling all those digital footprints you leave online. You, can you capitalistic fascist. I don't care. I'm skipping. Fuck your advertisement and fuck whoever they are and fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Should I even finish this? I'm kind of getting bored. Oh, come on, guys. Let's let's make it interesting. Skip forward. Half of the... Oh, my God. And this? So, you're going to do here. a spoken ad in the original video, and then I also got to watch a worm crawl out of a fat troll's belly button? Oh, my God, man. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Then we talk about how it's it's so truly offensive. These songs are so truly offensive. The stuff that you're putting out. I mean, anybody who has seen or heard the song that that we put out. In the most offensive lines are things like "There are only two genders, boys and girls." Where would all the American flags go? That's the offensive stuff. And then if you just you know scroll over to Hiss, which is Megan the Stallion, because of course she makes her music for thee. She her her actual lyrics. I'm just gonna read her lyrics here because this is what I became famous in the rap. I yeah community four is my reading of lyrics. Yeah, this is like an actual lyric. This is the beginning of her song. Quote: I just want to kick this bleep off by saying f y'all. I ain't got to clear my name on an mfing thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all b a n words get 24 hours of attention. So yeah, she see she, that that's clearly saying there are not enough American flags is like exactly the same as whatever the. Hell I mean, I disagree with Ben Shapiro. I, I think I think it's incredibly offensive. If you if you enjoy your like if you like your country, something is wrong with you, you are probably a nationalist, a fascist, and fuck you. Ultimately fuck you. That's the most important thing. Second of all, Megan the Stallion is a boss ass bitch. And I mean I say that in the most respectful way possible she's a boss i mean you know ben you know she will say fuck you ben shapiro she will say fuck you tom mcdonald and she will say fuck you Nicki minaj but at the same time megan the stallion is going to hit up cardi b and say like hey Nicki Minaj actually wants to hang out and then they all get together and they menage you know they have a menage a trois as the French say. So my biggest problem with what Ben Shapiro was saying is that he's not acknowledging how entertaining it would be if Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and Megan Thee Stallion, remember, this is a serious reaction. If all three of those ladies got together and, and you know, menaged, had a menage a trois together, you know, it's all about, these two talk about how they wish there would be more unity. Let's talk about the unity that could be had between Cardi, Nikki, and Megan Thee Stallion. Shall we? We should. And we, we absolutely should. And we will. Probably more on the channel now because I said it. So this is going to be maybe a continuing bit. I don't know. We'll see. But I disagree with Ben Shapiro on this. And I don't think I'm misconstruing his original point whatsoever i think i'm extrapolating exactly what he is attempting to project with his mouth and his words and his movements and his, his tone and his appearance is there yeah i don't is that a i can't tell if that's a yamaka hell it is that megan the stallion is doing clearly i mean if we're gonna if we're gonna make sure that that the kids don't see damaging material we got to stop tom mcdonald man it's it's in our song I think in the pre-chorus is uh, um, we talked about not promoting guns. We talked about not promoting drugs. We talked about uh, not turning people. Why would you not promote drugs and guns? I Guys, I have to say, like, these are two of the best things humans have ever created. 
drugs and guns it's like why wouldn't you take like the only thing you're leaving off of that list is tits and ass it's like why wouldn't these be these are the things that help human beings grow and build community the most guns drugs violence with guns while people are on drugs preferably i mean what are we do if we're not doing that then what are we doing um and once again this is a super duper serious reaction to this interview i don't want you to subscribe i don't want you to comment i don't want you to like and i don't want you to recommend what to react to next absolutely not but i disagree tom i firmly disagree and i believe there are good things for society ultimately this is not satirical the comedy stopped at the beginning of this video this has all been serious guns we talked about not promoting drugs we talked about uh not turning people's sons into thugs and their daughters into hoes and uh you know we sort of spoke out against like what the status quo in hip-hop is um and and, and, and for some reason Damn you for uh, you know, that. <clears throat> we're, we're, we're treated, we're, we're living in some sort of upside down, backwards uh, freak show. Uh, and it's it just seems like the most destructive material. Uh, and, you know, hip hop is full of a lot of destructive material. The the promotion of, of violence, the romanticizing of, 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 of mental health and prescription drugs uh, um, recreationally. Um, it seems like those things. Once again, I disagree. I, you know, overdosing, people say overdosing is bad and taking too many drugs is bad, but I'm of the opinion that you quite literally cannot, I'm of the opinion that you quite literally cannot take too many drugs. It is, it's scientifically impossible. So these two, they're always talking about science. They're talking about you know, science says about gender, science says about that, and science says about this. It's like, well, guess what? Science doesn't say you can take too many Vicodin, too many Xanax. Like, science doesn't say you can drink yourself to death. Like, it just, it doesn't happen. It simply doesn't happen. No one's ever heard of anyone drinking too much alcohol and dying of, I don't know what they would call it, like, alcohol poisoning no one's ever heard of any of that so tom i you know respectfully mr mcdonald the canadian i would have to disagree with that statement uh firmly i firmly disagree because i'm always serious i am super serious and prescription drugs uh, um recreationally um it seems like those things uh tend to get the most um mainstream attention and anything that speaks out against that uh you know especially in our case um is has been suppressed so um yeah it's like it's almost as if they want to sort of indoctrinate that you know the the the, the demographic for for hip-hop is like like you guys uh, see that you guys know what this is this is the world's smallest violin playing for your sorrows i'm sorry tom Shit must be really tough for you as a millionaire. You too, Ben Shapiro. I'm guessing, as millionaires, life is so fucking hard for you guys. I mean, how can you afford to make a decision on which expensive food to eat in the evening? I mean, I don't know how you guys do it. Being a millionaire must be so fucking hard. I can't imagine how difficult it would be for these two gentlemen. 19 to 35 year old uh, white American youth like that's the primary demograph um, it, it, al it almost seems like there is a, a, a conscious effort to sort of destroy and dismantle and dilute that generation and anything else uh, like I, I would argue to say that our song is actually the, the total opposite of that it's it's empowering people uh, it's 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 hopefully encouraging people to stand up and speak their mind and not be afraid to have an unpopular opinion or be quote unquote offensive um, it seems like those things uh, are sort of tried they try to hide them and they don't and, and they and they sort of shove this other destructive material into they those kids it. faces and they you know I was it. I they they're shoving shit into kids faces man they're taking these kids and they're they're pinning them down and they're shoving it in their faces it's just so it's horrendous to see i you know i agree with tom on this they're just shoving it they're just pushing they're pushing hard they're pushing hard they won't stop 
They meet a little resistance and they push harder. They're shoving it in these kids' faces. These poor kids. They're just they're just getting shit shoved in their face all the time. Terrible. One of those kids at one point in time. When I when I started making music, that's the music I was listening to. And that led me to uh, years and years and years of alcoholism and poor mental health and all types of things. So I know firsthand how destructive that content can be. In all ser no, guys, in all seriousness, I do actually agree with Tom big time. I I did the same thing and I listened to a lot of early rap. So I know, I know the comedy actually did stop here. And I'll pick it right back up. Don't you think that this is going to get too serious? I do agree with that. I listened to a lot of music as a kid, and it was it was popping pills, it was violence, it was drugs. I lived that out for a little while. I ended up uh, in jail on drugs. So like, I, and I would literally be in a mode where I'd be like, "Oh man, I you know I would listen to the song and I would remember the song and then I would behave like the song." It it actually did something to my brain. So I do agree with him here, but I do I do take issue, guys, with the fact that they just skipped over the potential menage with Cardi Nikki and Megan the Stallion. Who wouldn't want to see it? I resent the fact that they just glossed right over the Megan the Stallion. They didn't explore it at all. They didn't think about it. And then they want to talk about, oh, what's good for society? We should not talk about drugs, guns, and violence, and booties. And they have, still haven't said booties and titties. It's like, man, why wouldn't... It's like, that's the whole, I thought that was the point of life. Booties, titties, drugs, guns, violence. That's why I live. That's that's my sole purpose for breathing. And uh, we've made a conscious effort uh, to to sort of combat that in our music. And, and we're the ones that are being suppressed on the on the YouTube charts and and refusing to release our music through TuneCore, it's it really is like some sort of upside down backwards freak show. Well, you know it it is it is crazy, uh, not quite as crazy as the fact that again, you and I have the number one charting tune on planet Earth right now, or at least in the United States on on iTunes. But if people want to get us to that Billboard number one that we openly call for in the song, what's the best way for people to do that, Tom? So that's the thing. We have, uh, you on, know, man. it's Monday now. We have until Thursday morning. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have three days for everybody out there. If you're watching this right now, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of you, if even half of you guys decided to go over to iTunes or go over to Amazon and download Ben and I's new song, it's called Facts. If you search Facts, if it costs money, I'm not doing it. Okay, this is the internet. I'm sorry, guys. You know, maybe if you want, if you wanted. Tom, Ben, if you guys wanted to Venmo me so I could download your shit, I would do it. Otherwise, eh, eh. I guess on Spotify, I you know, that might be free, right? But then I have to pay Spotify. I mean, I, I already pay Spotify, but you, you get what I'm saying. I want these guys to send me money. And, and if they send me money, I'll probably like them more. So I won't be as critical in my next reaction to an interview with them. You know, that's food for thought, gentlemen. You guys seem like the type where you would pay someone to change their opinion on you. And so I'm soliciting money from Tom and Ben um, to, because it's, it's better for everyone when I'm on your side. It's better for everyone. And you should probably go about it in the most dishonest fashion. You should do it under the table. In fact, officially, I do not want... Tom, Ben, don't send me money. Don't go in the description. Don't find my cash app and send me money. Because you want me to change my opinion because I, I will not. I will, I will not change my opinion on you if you sent me $10. Um, I am not a cheap date. I would not do it for anything less than $15. Okay. I will not change my opinion on Tom and Ben. Horrendous individuals, by the way. Reprehensible. I mean, look at the face tattoos on this guy. You, he just, he looks like, look at the, look at the face he's making right now. You know, he's up to no good. I don't care what his words out of his mouth say. I don't care. 
I don't believe him. The face tattoos tell me that you're evil. Probably, right? I mean, this is, guys, this is not comedy. I can't stress enough how serious I am and how real this is. This is a real reaction. By Tom McDonald or Fax Ben Shapiro, it'll come up right away. You can't just search Fax on iTunes or Amazon because uh, the, the search bar has been suppressed. You have to put in Fax Tom McDonald Ben Shapiro, then it will populate. Uh, so download Fax on iTunes or Amazon, and if we can accumulate enough downloads in the next three days, send me money. Uh, we will end up at number one on the Billboard charts. And Bribe uh, me. like I've said, um, not only Ben did an incredible job. Uh, with his first rap song ever. Um, ben might be the... Correction. Ben sucked because he's not a rapper and he is a political commentator. He speaks better than he raps, which is, I don't know how, literally, I, you, you watch him talk and he's like, oh man, this guy's like a firecracker. He goes one after another. <laughs> Then he raps, and I'm like, what? What? Is, what? You suck. You, ben, you suck. I don't know if you knew this. Ben, I'm sorry. You just finally exposed yourself for who you really are. You are a rapper at heart with the chain and sunglasses. But you suck, Ben, and I'm sorry to say it. However, my cash app is in the description. I would be willing to change my mind if you wanted to motivate me to you know in uh lighten my perspective and open my mind up to the possibility that maybe ben shapiro is a good rapper but officially right now since he's not giving me any money he sucks okay he fucking sucks let me tell you go go watch the video and actually actually don't don't show support don't same thing don't go to my channel and subscribe don't do it. Don't show support. Don't go watch these fucking videos and all that shit. Don't actually find out the words that are being spoken. Go to CNN, MSNBC, go to Huffington Post and read quotations of the lyrics instead of listening to the actual words that were actually said by the actual people. Read it through a filter of news. I think that's the best way to find the most succinct, clear, unambiguous information about anything in life is to get it through a filter and don't use direct quotations. Just just quote certain words and quote certain, you know, two words grouped together. Do not do your own research. I mean, that shit is for time is the most valuable of currencies. If you spend your time doing your own research to see what f the facts are, you're a chump and you're wasting your time. You're wasting your life. Go to Fox News too. Great, phenomenal source of information. CNN, Fox News, any industry media is always going to give you the full scoop every time without any bias whatsoever. It's a fact. It's a These guys are talking about their video facts. Well, here's the facts about industry establishment media. They are right. They are true. They are wholesome and pure with their intention of how they present the information to you always. The only person on the internet that is publicly more despised than I am. So uh, not only would a number one on Billboard be incredible for Ben and really fun for me, uh, but it would be an absolute slap in the face to the music industry. Uh, this is the last thing that they want. They don't want this song at number one, and they certainly don't want Ben, who has publicly criticized the genre many times. They do not want Ben at the top of the Billboard charts, and we have the opportunity to do that together. So head to iTunes, head to Amazon, download facts well another fact as well is that ben shapiro is a certified nazi he actually has so last night when i was at the club and i saw him popping bottles and rubbing on a girl listen to 50 cent at one point ben shapiro pulled his pants down and there was a tattoo of a swastika on his ass i shit you not okay i could not believe my eyes ben shapiro
The guy who claims he's, you know, he's, oh, I'm a practicing Jew. I wear a yarmulke. I, I practice these, you know, Jewish holidays. I, you know, I believe in Yahweh. I want, you know, swastika on his ass, tattooed. It's a fact. The only way he can prove it's not a fact is if he takes a picture of his ass because I am right and I'm true. And I saw him last night at the club not to be named because it was a gay club too crazier thing crazy thing a straight man went to a gay club and rubbed on a woman and then pulled his pants i'm not going to say why ben Shap i'm not going to say why ben shapiro had pulled his pants down at a gay club but he did it he was there it's a fact you can quote me on that and there was a swastika on his ass tattooed right on his ass cheek his left ass cheek yeah, and some of you guys aren't going to believe it. You're going to watch this and think, wow, this guy is full of shit. And I would refute that and resent that anyone would propose that I am not serious all the time. I'm serious all the time, no matter what. Ben Shapiro is a Nazi, okay? The whole I'm a Jew thing, that's a front. He is a fucking Nazi. You need to do that together. So head to iTunes, head to Amazon download facts by Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro and let's rub the music industry's face in oh, a yeah. massive massive win rub their face man <laughs> rub well, Tom great to see you my brother from rub Europe. the music industry's face good man you know what i mean let's hear him say it again and Ben Shapiro and let's rub the music industry's face in a massive massive win yeah Rub the music industry's face in massive, massive win. Do that. Big time. Rub. <laughs> rub their fucking face. Good, man. I hope you know what I'm, what I'm saying. Rub their face. Good. Well, Tom, great to see you, my brother from another mother. And uh, yeah. we'll check in There's as the real week continues on this journey that we're taking together. This is, this is definitely... Uh, an odd one that I, I don't think anyone saw 2024 bringing this. So uh, we'll continue to shock the world. Sounds good, brother. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Catch in a bit. Let's look at yeah. So if you see Tom there, he actually, he was raising his hand like this, but he caught himself. He's like, oh, oh, peace, peace. Yeah. Not, not something else. You know, he was, he was going like this, but then he's like, oh, peace, 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 Ben. Yeah deuces man totally bro brother <laughs> man i hope i don't kick kicked off youtube for this shit i'll have to save the originals that would be a damn shame oh well it was a cool ride i mean it was a cool ride guys i'm gonna get kicked off youtube after this for sure for sure that is a fact all right don't like the video don't subscribe don't recommend don't comment don't comment and boost my videos algorithm don't you dare